punches are not made, they are born. He was born a puncher. Old age is great. <laughs> if you live long enough, that's right. You're a little bit too square. Your right, your right shoulder, you see, a little bit this way, it should be more this way. So when you drive it in, nothing to hold that blow. You're gonna do real damage. You might drop the guy with one punch, but you aim it here and bring the same hand. When he hits here, he's liable to bring it down. Even if he's coming, he's liable to bring it down, bang, over here, bang, with the left hook here, over here. See? You got a chance of putting three perfect punches if he's upstanding. That's it. See, ain't no way he's going to hit you then, right? And remember, it's always good to throw the punch where you could hit him and he can't hit you. That's what the science of boxing is all about. Remember, from the side, you can let that punch go with the worst kind of intention because you know he can't hit you back. So you can throw the bomb with all the power you can generate. Mike, to look at him, he looks like a fighter. He's big, he's got the physique. Body. And he, he's still, still young, he's only 16 now, he's 210 pounds, well, well developed. You make me proud when you You do this in the ring and you're hitting. He's 210 pounds, well, well developed. You make me proud when you slid. You do this in the ring and you're hitting. It's <coughs> like a good fight. Be champ of the world someday. Just keep your mind where it's supposed to be. Maybe God, you know, gave, gave him such a strong body. He figured, well, I give him a strong body, you know. I'll make him have to become strong another way on his own. He's not as tough or hard, I should say. As people think he is, everyone that sees me, they say, oh boy, you got that Tyson, you're lucky, you know, you got that Tyson, he, he's an animal, he just loves to fight, he just loves to hurt people. Beautiful. You know, he's not afraid of nothing. Very good. Well, when we're done with him, he, he won't look like he is anyway. <coughs> See how you can slip punches without hitting back? This is the way you guys slip. He comes from a tough environment, he comes from a hard upbringing, you know, pounds for Brooklyn. He never had nothing. He was down in that kind of environment. I know how it is. You, you can't trust people. You, you grow mistrusting. You, can, you know, anybody does anything for you, there's a reason. You know, nobody helps people. He's got the potential to be the, one of the, go down as one of the, you know, best fighters ever. But he'll only reach that potential if he keeps his head, you know, screwed on straight. <coughs> That's it, there you go, now you got, again, again. Who's the last guy to stop? Time, very good, that's what I mean. Very good, that's what you have to do. One more round. Your mind is not on your work. Your mind is not on your work. There's something distracting you. Hi, young man. Yeah. Mike Tyson came to me as a result of an interest taken in him by a fellow named Bobby Stewart, who was a former professional fighter. Now, he was 13 and a half years old, I believe. We trained him steadily. When he got to the point of slipping punches, we had a difficult time getting people to box with him because he proved to be a very hard puncher with both hands. I think he did get some boxing just before he entered the Junior Olympic Tournament. When he did enter, he had to come out on top in the local tournament up here. That qualified him to go into the regional Junior Olympics, which took place in New York, where he scored all knockouts. And the winning that regional qualified him to go to nationals. Let him hang there. 
and stretch, like gradual. Feel the stretch. Feel it? Yeah. Now that weird punch. You made him miss a punch, you might as well throw. <coughs> It's coming up, the heavyweight bout between Mike Tyson and Kelton Brown. And both fighters have been very, very impressive. Last year has been in national competition. Hard one, left hook just over and over and over. The physical part of boxing is so minor that most people would never believe it or accept it. Because in my opinion, the mind and emotions are about 75% of boxing. Let's put a bow there, bring it up to the head. D'Amato continues to be one of the foremost fight managers in the business. His stable of past pugilists includes former champ. His seasoned eye for talent has spotted a fresh up-and-coming young heavyweight named Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, weighing 210 pounds, has an ex exceptionally good record. He had a, maybe a dozen fights in the Junior Olympic Championship, and he knocked out every fighter he fought to win the national championship twice. Tyson not only has a very hard, terrific punch in either hand, but he has developed elusive qualities and has the most important quality, the will to win. He has the desire to win. He wants Michael Tyson, a wild, angry teenager from a nearby reform school. Keep, keep the head down when you come up with the H. Keep your head down. Yeah, I mean, it's not coming up, but it's starting to come up. You can make it perfect. It's good, but it's not perfect. Koss, who never married or had children, adopted Michael, took him into his home, taught him about... But perhaps the most remarkable attribute that young Mike Tyson carries with him is his age. You see, Mike Tyson is only 16 years old. Coming from a bad neighborhood in Brooklyn, and you know, and you know, living in Brooklyn, things happen, and then it goes further and further and beyond, so I won't even talk about that. And eventually, I met a friend that knew Cuss, and that's how this situation happened. I feel I was born to fight because I have no other interest in anything else. He's a fighter in their own right. You're a fighter, I'm a fighter. Everyone that's in this room, even the newspapermen, they're fighters. But everybody don't get up every morning and run. Everybody don't go to the gym every morning. And everybody don't have... <laughs> He has the ability, he has the potential, and most of all, he has the desire. He really wants to be a champion. I'm a champion for the same reason my boys become champions. I'm very determined, I believe in what I'm doing, and I can't be dissuaded. I cannot. <laughs> 